we hear so many stories of people saving other people's lives, especially at the expense of their own. We celebrate their actions and we applaud their bravery and we wonder about the courage that they have to muster up. Just like that child who saved his brother from drowning in the floods and he ended up drowning himself. We applaud the bravery of these people. Can you imagine well, how you will live your life if somebody saved you? If somebody saved your life through an accident, from danger or a situation? Or even more so, how would you live your life if somebody saved you and died themselves at the expense of their own life, saving you by jumping in front of a bullet that was meant for you, or giving you a hand as you were drowning, or saving you from a fire? Would you find yourself living with more purpose, more intention, more clarity? Would you find yourself changing the way you live, or would you actually be cutting the ties that you think is unhealthy or unproductive in your life? And it really puts it into perspective when you realize that it's exactly what Jesus Christ has done for us. In our lives of sin, shame, strongholds, addictions and wrongdoing, we have fallen short and now we have a death sentence on our lives. In the most amazing heavenly exchange, Jesus has taken it all onto his own shoulders. All the sin, all the consequences, all the weight, all the burden and he sacrificed himself so that we could have a second chance, a new lease on life. And I know that I've received second chances, both spiritually and physically. Physically, as I was facing my battle with cancer, as I was having a close encounter with death and a fight with sickness. And I've come out healthier, stronger, and also cancer-free. And I have a newfound appreciation of life. There are certain things that I've changed and certain perspectives that I've gained from that battle as a result of my second chance. And the same goes for spiritually. I wrestled with God in my early years. I doubted His existence in my life. And since then, He has given me revelation as He revealed Himself to me. He revealed himself of who he is and who I am supposed to be in him. He showed me how I was living and the sin and shame that was attached to my life and brought me his grace and mercy and freedom. And since then I've said yes to his grace. I've said yes to his freedom. And as a result, I've now been journeying with him with ultimate purpose, focus, intent and clarity. Have you received the revelation? Have you received your second chance today? It is all there waiting for you. We have a second chance with him.